God spoke to Abraham again one day. God had spoken to Abraham many times over the course of his life. But this time he had a test for Abraham. And it was going to be the toughest, most difficult test of Abraham's life. God said, Abraham, take your son, Isaac, who I know you love, up to the top of the nearby mountain. When you get to the top, I want you to sacrifice him. That would mean killing him. Abraham was probably slightly shocked. God had promised him a family and had promised him children and now God was asking him to put his child to death. But Abraham remembered all that God had promised about having a family and that family growing so that there were so many people in it that they were as many as the stars in the sky and that the land of Canaan would belong to them. Abraham had learned over the years that God keeps his promises and that God would surely keep this one too. So even though he must have been terribly shocked, Abraham did as God asked. The next day, he cut enough wood for a burnt offering, loaded it up on a donkey, and set off with two servants and his son Isaac on the journey towards the mountain. After travelling for three days, Abraham saw the top of the mountain in the distance. He told the two servants to wait whilst he and Isaac went up to the top of the mountain. Abraham and Isaac took the woods and they travelled together, talking along the way. Isaac asked, Father, I can see we have wood and things to make a fire, but what is going to be the offering? What's going to be the sacrifice? Abraham replied, God himself will provide something for the offering. Abraham trusted that God would provide another way, and so the two of them continued their climb to the top of the mountain. When they reached the top, Abraham built an altar, a table for the sacrifice to take place on, and then arranged the wood on top. Then he did something shocking. He took his son, Isaac, and tied him up tightly with rope and lay him down on top of the woods to be the sacrifice. Abraham reached out his hand, and as he lifted it, a voice called out, Abraham! Abraham, an angel, a messenger from God, put a stop to what was going on. Do not lay a hand on the boy. Do not touch him. Don't harm him. I know that you trust God because you were willing to give up your only son. At that moment, Abraham looked over and there in a nearby bush was a ram caught by its horns. He took the ram and the ram became the offering instead of Isaac. Abraham named the place God will provide, because God had provided another way. Abraham had passed the test, the toughest test of all, and Isaac was safe. The angel spoke again. He said to Abraham, as you didn't hold back your own son, you were willing to give him up. The promise that God has made you is going to come true. Your family will become as many as the stars in the sky and just as many as the sand grains on the seashore. You have listened and you have trusted in God. Abraham and Isaac went on their way and returned to where they were staying. So, Abraham finally trusted God. And it was enormous and powerful trust. As we look back over Abraham's life, he so often failed to trust the promises made to him by a perfect and kind God. But in the end, he has shown massive trust, hasn't he? Trust bigger than the confusion he must have had. Trust bigger than the pain and the agony he must have been feeling. Trust bigger than we could imagine most of the time. Of course, God was never, ever going to allow Isaac to be killed. He's too loving and too kind. And besides, his promise would have been broken if he'd allowed that to happen. But what this test showed was that Abraham has learned his lesson. And he has learned it in a big way. 
What a show of trust in God we see here at the end of the story of Abraham's life. When God makes promises, they need to be trusted. The big question is, do you trust God and do you trust the promises that he makes to you? Because the promises he makes in his book, the Bible, are promises made for people like you and for people like me. We need to trust God and the promises he makes to us. Do you?